And that not by bare permission. In other words, it, it's it's not it's not that God somehow he exercises his sovereignty and his providence. These things are 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 less than ideal, but he permits them to be. No. That's not the answer. Now, we try to make that the answer because we believe that God needs a PR firm. And we know that that sort of, you know, that, that, that kind of thing there, it, 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 makes people, it makes people feel better, right? Some horrible thing happens and we just say, well, you know, God just permitted that. He didn't cause that. He just permitted that. He, he, would, he would never have planned that. When that hurricane came through, and all these things got wiped out and people lost their lives, you know, God, 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 God just, you know, he just, he, just, he just permitted that. And we say things like that not realizing the awful implications of that. That if God can't control a hurricane, how can he get you to heaven? Hmm? If you can't trust that the hurricane went exactly where God told it to go, then how can you trust that your soul is going to get where God tells it to go? So enough with trying to be God's PR firm. So I had, I had to make a clip of this. And this is a great sermon. It's actually a three parts. It's now one of my favorite Vody sermons. Uh, the link is in the description, but you can also search it by the name that's in the video. Uh, Vody hit the nail right on the head with this. And so often, false professing Christians try to swoop in and save God whenever something disastrous happens in this world. Now, I want to explain to you, and I'm kind of going to expose why they actually do this now the reason why people would try to save god and when Vody says a pr team he's talking about public relations you know celebrities have this whenever something a picture is you know comes out in the media they they swoop in and try to save it and try to you know change it from what it really is to make it not look so bad and so the reason why people do this with god and this is the truth i don't care what they say this is the truth it's because false professing christians have elevated mankind above God in worth and 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 basically uh, goodness. And so these false professing Christians have a low view and estimate of God and have attributed a high view to mankind. That's why when a tornado comes or when a, 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 a hurricane wipe comes through and wipes out 100 people, they have to come in as a PR team and save the day, save God's name. Because why? Because it would be evil to attribute that hurricane to the wrath of God for killing mankind, mankind who they've lifted up above God, right? So they have to say, well, that was Satan or that, or God just allowed it to happen because if God caused that to happen, that would make him evil. Why? Because man is higher than God in their eyes. Now, when you have a biblical worldview of the doctrine of God and the doctrine of man in which man is extremely low and God is exalted high, because God is holy, God is spotless, God is without sin, God is perfect, and man is totally wretched, de deplorable, sinful, wicked, reprobate. When you have that view of God, right, where God is high, exalted, and man is low, it makes sense when, a when in God's wrath, he sends something to come through and wipe out people. Why? Because by it's all by grace that we're even here today. We've sinned. We've transgressed his law. We should have died yesterday. So it's a mercy when God kills only 40 people. He should have killed 100 or 1,000. So by his mercy, he held his hand back. And see, this is all a call, of rep call to repentance when this happens. It's all a call to repentance. And so it's important to understand the, or to have a biblical view of the doctrine of mankind and a biblical view of the doctrine of God, his attributes, to understand what separates us 
okay? And why we're so different, and why God is nothing like us. Because it, it matters, and this is why it matters. Because when something bad happens, you ever heard somebody say, when, when something bad happens, that's Satan, and whenever something good happens, it's God? You know, so a lot of people have this view that Satan and God are at war. And Satan controls the underworld, and, his, and Satan has his angels, and God controls the heavens, and he's got his angels, and they're constantly going to war, and sometimes God wins, and sometimes Satan wins. That's such a wicked, just demonic view of what's going on. Satan is God's dog, okay? God has Satan on a leash, okay? There is no war. God is sovereign, and he's always in control. And like Vodi said, you better thank God that he's always in control, you better thank God that his hand is on everything that happens in this world, because without that, without that reality, we couldn't trust him. We could not have faith in him. So praise God that he is in control at all times. That's a good thing. It's a good thing. So um, I want to make a couple more videos in regards to this sermon because it's so good. But yeah, check it out. I'll post a link in the description. Thank you for listening.